Many of us will begin the new year with the best of intentions. We start an exercise program fully intending to get into better shape, but eventually that gym membership will go unused and that new workout equipment will gather dust. Lorene Cachola has some tips on how to look good and feel great by learning to love exercise. Thanks, Joe. Well, some of us may already be wondering how to keep our New Year's resolution to stay in better shape. Aptitude is one thing, but attitude, that's another thing. And here to help us is personal trainer Wendy Holmes uh, to give us some advice on preventing workout burnout. Thanks for joining us, Wendy. Glad to be here. Now, some people really don't love exercise, so what can people do to just tolerate it at least? Well, one thing is, if you're not going to exercise, you're not going to get to eat very many calories, and that is no fun. That's not fun at all. <laughs> so let's get moving and do some exercise. Uh, one of the things that people might not be tolerating their exercise program is because maybe they have an old injury that they've never correctly rehabbed, and every time you exercise, you, your injury hurts and doesn't feel good. Or let's say you're exercising or, or doing things and you're not getting the results you want. Um, you know, again, that's not, you're not wanting to exercise. You don't feel good about that. Maybe you dislike the exercise you're doing. I mean, all these can be your obstacles to exercise or obstacles for not liking exercise. And we just need to reevaluate, revamp, and get you on the right program, the right exercises. Now, one of those obstacles may be time. So, uh, do you, can you do fast workouts or do you really need to set aside large blocks of time? Well, any amount of exercise is better than none at all. But I think what's really important here is that we need to work out smarter instead of harder. Uh, and so like today, I brought an exercise ball, and, and it's like learning to multitask kind of thing. Right. So what you can do is, if you sit on this exercise ball, maybe while you're talking on the telephone, watching <laughs> television, I, you can, I don't care, but let's move. Just start bouncing up and down. And then you can even do your legs out like jumping jack formation, right? You can do your arms above your head, uh, lift it, push them out, exactly. Right. Believe and it or not, it's 30 minutes too. of this and watching a show, it's like, you know those little bouncing balls that kids used to have? Right. That's what this is like, but it burns calories. So, you know, hey, an email is better than none at all, right? Exactly. So, what do we do to really make exercise a regular part of our lives? Well, um, I always say this, and that is, after you have clearance from your physician, you need a good pair of shoes. They make all the difference in the world if you're in the right shoe. If you haven't exercised in 10 years and you pull out the workout shoes, and they're that old, again, you're not going to feel motivated and good to go do the exercise. How, how do you know if you have the right shoe? The right shoe is going to one of these stores that specialize in the walking and running shoe. They'll walk, watch your gait and look at what type of stability, cushioning shoe that you need and get you in the right one. But also it's important that you have some type of accountability about yourself. Uh, whether you write a contract with yourself about what you're going to do, have some form of a plan, a little bit of a rough draft, something. And if that's not enough, I tell my clients, no ex I mean, no coffee before exercise. So use that coffee Ooh, to get you going. That's cruel. Does prevent coffee that's before cruel, exercise. But my other cruel thing is this scale. So if that's Stepping not motivation enough to get you to tolerate exercise, the scale will. So this is something you should be doing regularly is weighing yourself. You really yourself need to know where, how close you are to your ideal body weight, and that will help motivate you. Well, Wendy, thank you. Those sound like ideal ways, the steps you need to make sure that you can look good and feel great.